Here's how to download and install the couple more mod pack for Minecraft, guys. If this video helps you out, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. Okay, so the first step to get couple more is to click the second link in the description, which is our reading guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, you don't have to read through the quick guide. You could just go down to step one and then download CurseForge. Click on this button right here. It's going to redirect you over here. Select the download a standalone option. And of course, if you have a different OS than mine, you could have scrolled down and choose it from here. But since I have Windows, just choose download a standalone. And then you'll find the installer over here on your recent download history, which you want to go ahead and drag and drop into your desktop. Now you could also find that file in the downloads folder of your computer, the default downloads folder. And once you have that file in your desktop, guys, just go ahead and double click on it and the installer will open for CurseForge. Now once the installer opens, go ahead and hit next in here. Obviously read through the terms and privacy policy. And if you agree, hit over here the check mark and then hit next. And now just wait for CurseForge to install. Now if you guys want to play Covamon with your friends, if you want to play Covamon online, a great option will be using the first link in the description to create a server with Apex Hosting because Apex Hosting supports mod packs when creating a server. They actually have support for over 200 mod packs when creating a server. All you have to do is look for that mod pack in here. Let's say that you want to use Covamon. You actually have Covamon. You have the Covaverse in here when creating that server. As you can see, Apex Hosting has to be one of the best services when creating a Minecraft server. And if you use that first link in the description, you get 25% off when making this server. Now, once CurseForge finishes installing, it's going to open up automatically. And what you want to do in here is just skip the intro. You don't have to go through that. All you have to do is select Minecraft right here, which is going to put you over here. And most likely, you guys won't have anything in here. I already have a couple mod packs. But like I said, you guys probably won't have anything in here. And that's fine. What you want to do in here is head over to browse right here on the top and you're free to scroll down in here and try to find couple money here. But that might take longer. The best way or the easier way to find couple money is just to search for it on the top. So just go ahead and type couple money in there. Hit enter. Now, just make sure you select the couple money official mod pack, which is the one by Cobalt Studio right here. Don't download a random one. And if you're going to be playing with your friends, just make sure to remember if you're getting the fabric mod pack or if you're getting the Neo Forge mod pack. Now, in this video, we're just going to get the fabric mod pack. And all you have to do, guys, is hit install right here. And the installation will begin for the cover mod, mod pack. Now, anytime you want to play the cover mod, mod pack, you're going to have to come back into your CurseForge launcher and you're going to head over to my mod packs and you're going to find cover mod right here. And this is how you're going to play it. You're not going to open it to your regular Minecraft launcher. You're going to open it to the CurseForge launcher. Now, once cover mod has finished installing, if you guys want to change the RAM amount that you're going to use with cover mod, all you have to do is press on it and then click on these three dots right here and then press where it says profile options. And in here, you're able to change the RAM to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it on the 4000 megabytes that it gives you, which is four gigabytes. But if you want to increase it, just choose custom and then just change it in here to whatever you want. Now, once you're set on the RAM that you want, or if you don't want to change the RAM, that's fine. All you have to do, guys, is hit play right here on the mod pack. Now, guys, don't be confused if you have to log in into the Minecraft launcher when it opens. That is happening because you're opening the Minecraft launcher through CurseForge. That's why you have to re-log in. Just make sure you log in with the Minecraft account where you actually own Minecraft because some people log in with a random Microsoft account and then they don't own Minecraft and they'd be like, well, I have to rebuy Minecraft. No, you don't have to rebuy anything. This is completely free as long as you already own Minecraft. Now, this is totally safe to do. This is a regular Microsoft launcher. It's just open to CurseForge. That is why you have to log in and you only have to log in once. And after that, you don't have to log in ever again because it will be already logged in. Now, once you see Cobalt down here, simply hit play. Obviously, read through this. And if you agree, hit understand and then hit play one more time. And now just wait for the mod pack to open. Now, after a couple seconds, you should get Cobalt open on your computer. And that is it, guys. You could launch a single player world. Again, if you need a multiplayer world, just go ahead and use that first link down below in the description and you'll be able to have a server open for your Cobalt world where your could join you without any troubles. But that is pretty much it, guys. How to install Cobalt in 2025. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.